Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the Colonel wants you on the breach. See you later. Come on, wake up. You did a great job there. We are not home anymore, so we'd all better act like you did. Smoothly. It's not like there's many of us humans left now. So I hope someday we will be able to trust others just because. Because they are people too. Am I bothering you? Sorry, I'm in a philosophical mood today. for a king, I must say. Ah, what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach, yet there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this, too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. It's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know. Well, Duke's plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore, and he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one, or else his toes would be in danger. <sighs> Regardless, I am turning this little gang back into a real army. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The Colonel summoned you. Well, I have stuff to do too. You guys are fast to break gear, but none do it speedy to fix it. Now stop it already! <laughs> hey, Artyom, well, the Colonel is waiting you for you on the bridge. <laughs> so, what's up with your plate carrier? Don't it, old man. Come here, Artyom! Listen, I had a talk with the Ark, and all thanks to Dokoran, he got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. Hey, this is Ark. Hey, uh, identify yourself. Uh, over. This is Colonel Svetoslav Mionnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signals and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Over. Yes, yes. I hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? How do I address you? The Deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. A, a moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that the checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. Um, a medical? Simply capital. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but as you know... The situation is dire, and the enemy is always ready to strike. I do understand, Major, and I hope that you can tell the leadership that my people are true to their duty and will be at their full disposal as soon as we arrive. Over. Thank you for the great news. How large is your force, Colonel? I have a squad of the best operatives the Special Forces have to offer. A squad? Ah, uh, I see. Well, this is great! Great! Yes, uh, we are a large force, but we bring a message of extreme importance. We are heading towards you from Sector K-6 Alpha. Do you have any data on enemy forces we might encounter on the way? Over. 
Copy. Just a moment, I have to check. Uh, K6, uh, Alpha, you say, uh, as far as I can see, there have been no enemy encounters in reported in the area, Colonel. I regret it. I must end our conversation here, but know that we are waiting for your arrival. I am making my report immediately, and I am sure the Minister of Defense will be eager to see you. This is a great honor! Thank you! Just a few words more, though. Uh, what is the general situation there, Major? Please. Uh, Colonel, sir, you do understand this is classified information. Uh, but I do understand you. We are doing fine. Do not worry. Uh, well, see you in the arc. Over and out. I serve the people. Over and out. So, do you get this now, you doubting Thomas? <laughs> I'm so excited my hands are still shaking. The minister himself! This is incredible! By the way, Artyom, you should take a look at the map. As you can see, we are heading almost straight for the Yamantau complex. Katya and Chris tell me that the line there is in decent condition. <sighs> Surprising, really. Taking into account the number of... to the safe zone, and sit tight there. We do that right now! Stefan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes sir! Great, let's go! this place. Where's the Moscow? Yeah, looks like it. See that crater? Wonder what the yield was on that one. Looks like a hundred to me. Rocky. The other guys used to have three and five hundred ones too. Well, even a hundred seems to have done okay. Artyom was right. People were coming here from all over the country. Yes, they were. Nobody came from Moscow, though. Until now. So much time wasted. We'll make up for that now. Well, we're almost there. Не-не-не-не-не, да 
no, 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 this is a bad place. Now we shouldn't have come here. Really? Okay, so where's my welcoming committee in red carpet? I don't get this. Oh, see, nobody home. How about we go back, huh? Wait, look. Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. of the Joint Special Operations Forces Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense. Now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. 
The minister and the chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking! Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... you're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get John this like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of Untie hers. my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime... I'll excuse you myself. Come here! I'll rip you all apart! Every last one of you should have done that before the war! But I'll get you now! Burn this town to ashes! So I'll give it the dirty holes remain! Now we'll be full again! Good.
like our old D6. Even the lift is the same, exactly. True. And quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. Let's go! Your floor, Artyom!
the others. So just freeze! Yes, yes. Let just, him just go! Don't kill me! Now. Uh, remember what I told you. There was an ex- Enough chatter! Are you alright, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the Colonel. Dad, it's me. Anna, are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me. Oh, thank God. Well done, Artyom. Where do they go now? There's an elevator straight down the corridor. It goes right to the command center. Let's go. Not too fast, though. I need to catch my breath a bit. This whole situation, though. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that Silentius with his damn fanatics.
But no, it appears there was still space for growth. We could have gotten killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. But what do we do Nobody now? Damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? The defense sites, HQs, all the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up work for at least a few years after the war. What's down there? It's Caspian One, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <laughs> Are you going to drag us to some other bunker now? I don't know, Anna. We have to make the decision to get Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving. One moment. I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on! Okay, all done. I don't think you should have put that like that. It all worked out this time. It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't. Ah! All the more reason to strive and spend more time with what is allotted to me. With that guy over there. I've grown attached to him. Oh, to 
think I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka! I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. And if we gave access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> Could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Huh? Sound the horn, then! <coughs> I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. There. Looks like somebody lives there. I see. How are the men doing, Demir? Stepan is the worst off, but the others are not so well either. Oh, only us here are still in fighting shape. Thank you. Ada, you and Demir reconnoitre the area. We need to find the damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. And we're all out of coal. I see. We'll need to address that too. Anna, Tamir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. Sam, do. get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Artyom, we have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info. Which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Crest, can your rail car pull the train? Hi, Artyom. Clear! 
Artyom! I've got something for you. idiot looks like it used to house a ticket office and lockers full of garbage now could use some cleaning
You made a mistake coming here. I surrender! There's probably no chance to have a chat with the owners of this car. What a shame they're so silent. Though, had I had a car like this, I wouldn't want to give it up either. <laughs> in my book, driving beats walking in this heat any day. <laughs> Which reminds me, you've got a good test drive opportunity. While you were playing in this sandbox, I found some antennas. And the communication center should have them. Uh, I think it's at that lighthouse, so you should head there. The lighthouse is so huge, we can't miss it. I have to stay and keep tabs on the area for a while, but once I'm done, I might join you there. See ya! Let the opportunity go. 
about to speak. Listen up, everyone. The Baron is speaking. You fucking dickheads! Fuck so hard about having one measly prop with a whole gang! So she killed a dozen boys already? Well, if you continue thinking with your empty, she'll kill you all show. I can't call it your title!
kills the Munai Bailer is my friend. The Munai Bailer, as we call them, turned my people into slaves. Wanted to put me in shackles too. <laughs> Better death. Loud and clear. Your man helped me. I mean, you're dead, but why are you here? For five years, nobody would come here save for Munai by Lair. Kill. What do you know of the antennas near your lighthouse? There used to be a comm center before the war. My mother worked there. She was an officer. The facility is long abandoned. I went there after war to look for mom's traces, but found nothing. I will help. Are you? You have to find the archive. We should be near the command center. Look for shots taken after the war, starting with the year 2013. The Mir will soon be there. You can count on him. Miller, over and out. If we go, we better go now, before more of them arrive. Use the workbench if you need to fix something. There are all kinds of danger. A smart man wouldn't go there. You seem smart, but you do not have choice. Before war, this place was beautiful. See, I was five then. My mom was young, alive. Now it's just desert. All the beasts changed into freaks. And people became beasts. My people became chattel. Not by themselves. The oil dogs made them. The oil stayed even though the sea dried out. Old people died. Only the young remained. And they all obey their masters now. The Munai Bailer say they're gods of fire now. And the young believe. Five years after the war, my mother died. I was all alone. to open the door, so I've been there. But I never went deep. There are spiders. <laughs> See the passage? You go through. I'll follow.
take the left turn. There's a narrow passage there. I'll stay here. Someone must keep the power going. If you see Mom's picture, bring it. I'll be thankful to you as long as I live. Stepyanek, we're up a shit creek without a pedal. 
The cracks on the lower level that last earthquake opened are now seeping gas, and that gas is toxic if I know anything. The ventilation is so far keeping it big, but what if the power shuts off again? Or we get another tremor and the cracks open wider? I told the chief, but he's just pulling his usual. Sit on your ass in your office, drink and twiddle your thumb straight. There are no panics. Strictly observe the last of all.
finally have the data on all of the largest city agglomerations, it is obvious that our hopes to find one that had somehow been spared attack were unfounded. <laughs> things too. You people are lucky. Most of the Monai Bailey are raiding all their best troops. If they were all here, you'd be dead already. But now, we have a chance to change things. Ah, Munai Bailer translates to something like oil rich people. Oil drillers, I guess. Listen to me. I'll tell you where to go now. When outside, go right. The road there used to lead to the sea. To port. Anna should be around there. Contact her. She probably found something interesting. Wait, Anna here. <coughs> Damn sand. I'm near the port, watching the main road. Got activity. Nothing serious. 
such luxury back in Moscow. Still, this place is too hot. I feel I'm coming down soon, like Stepan. In any case, here's what I learned. See that crane at the dock? There is someone in the cabin. Can't see him that well, but I think he noticed me as soon as I arrived. That seems like a great spot to keep tabs on our base, so you should check it out. Look at that cracked ship now. The largest one, closest to the water. See? Well, it's not cracked, but rather carefully dismantled. I saw trucks carrying cages arrive at that boat. Looks like this is where the bandits keep their prisoners. There's that building over there, past the port. Looks like an air control tower, but I'm not sure. In any case, there should be a lot of equipment there. Something might come in handy. I see you got the maps. You and Amir did a great job there. <coughs> I'll keep watching the rigs, and you can choose your next goal. Don't get up yet. Uncle Artyom has to talk to the Cornel first. 
for the Aurora and the crew, as you can see. Stepan, Duke, and Alyosha are done with dehydration already. We also need fuel. The local bandits have it all. I had already contacted their so-called Baron, but his terms proved to be... unacceptable. He'll told us where they get the water, but naturally, the well is guarded. The mirror gone to the place and says we could infiltrate it stealthily. So, Martin, when you're ready, go rendezvous with Tamir. Your goal is to bring water to the Aurora. Failure is not an option. Good luck, Artyom. I... We are all counting on you. Crest, how's the weather? The storm seems to be over. I'll go back to the post. So, what do you think of our situation, Artyom? Not so good, huh? Now, oh, besides, we had guests to gave them our best welcome, naturally.
Hold it! You motherfucker! I'll fucking flay you alive, you bitch! What are the guys doing with no water? While you were away, I scouted it out a bit. As you might suspect, we're approaching the spring through the back door. Kuhl says lots of people used to live in these caves. Uh, there was basically a real town. But then the geysers opened up and they all had to flee. Well, let's go! <gasps> well... The bridges are burnt now. 
Let's climb a bit higher to get a better look around. The cave isn't going anywhere. That's some noise! What's that? Huh? Ah, Shaitan! Stupid bats! Yeah... This place is totaled. When setting out, I kind of had hopes of finding something about my people, if not my relatives. But... Now I find out. And it hurts. Steady, steady... Aha! Uh -huh. Right at the entrance! Get ready, Artyom. Charge the torch, check the filters and other gear. I have this feeling, a vaguely unnerving one. Well, to hell with the feelings. <laughs> Here, let me give you a boost.
These are plans for two. Now we cross the bridge and head right. Looks like we're almost out. Follow me! The passage to the spring! Let's go! Another cave in. My filter is almost done for. Look, light! Here. Well, the air seems all right. Masks off. Really? Are you nuts? All the games. 
Артем, you open the gate and I'll bring the car in. Yeah, so much for stealth. At least they got their just desserts. <laughs> Finally lost them. Well, at least we didn't hurt the slaves. <sighs> Looks like they aren't giving chase. Time to get blood. in a massive raid now. And this is just... Hmm, the Baron sending his regards. How many of them are there? 
seven hundred, I think. Whoa. Yeah, we locked out here. And we'd better not overstay our welcome. We won't get far burning twigs. Five clicks at best. The dogs have fuel. Lots of it. A full tanker carriage on the rails. If we open gate quietly, we can steal it. They shouldn't have many guards now. Can you guide our men? I can. Let's get to business then. Yermak, Crest, you prepare the Aurora. Finish filling the boiler with water and drain the car's tanks. Artyom, Damir, you get the most important part. Stealing that tank. Yes, sir! Good luck, gentlemen. Anna, idiot, Tokarev, we're breaking camp, people! Don't forget to check your gear and prepare before you set out. Maybe we could still negotiate with them. I tried that already. No dice. He takes women as pigs.
hear you cretins? Why is he armed? And where the fuck is so? Incompetent fools. Ah, he's one of the newcomers. Huh. Color me intrigued. Good call. Let us talk then. All of you, out! Innocence. Young men. We are civilized people. Let us keep our weapons out of the picture. Well, young man, now we can talk with masks off, huh? I think you didn't expect to see me here, huh? <laughs> it's hardly surprising. Nobody would expect that. So, the curtain that he is, sometimes does show surprising creativity. I have to give him that. Destroying what remains of the resistance, getting rid of the witch and rooting up treason in one fell swoop. This plan has... grandeur. So that's why I'm sitting here. I don't even remember since how long. Looking at my property and listening to my double on the radio. Well, that double has a way with the radio, I must say. Using him as a mere clay pigeon even seems like a waste. Oh well. <laughs> if anything, there's too many talents among my people. See this portrait? Does it even look like me? Of course it doesn't. The artist is a prime case of one talent too many. This cretin painted this off my double. Should have been a spitting image of me. But I don't even recognize this face. Can't remember where the painting came from either. No matter though. Let's talk about something else. Guests and trains, for example. <laughs> oh, we've been waiting for you. We do have ears in the vest, just like you have... used to have here. Don't take it personal, but all of your spies had to burn for offending the Holy Flame. <laughs> A man's got to know his limitations, you see. I have a right to laugh at that bullshit, because I invented it all. I don't remember when, though. But that don't matter. What matters is that even I keep the facade up when there's slaves around. And anyone so crass as to publicly, in public, offend the Holy Flame is an enemy. Is that clear? You people should learn subtlety. <laughs> Then we might even cooperate. I doubt you were sent here for nothing, after all. Hmm? I have received some reports on your latest adventures. Was it you who stole our water, Bowser? No. Don't bother denying it. I know everything. Well, hey, no harm, no foul. The slaves will have to drink a bit less for some time, that's all. Do you really expect my double would even consider not topping up his swimming pool over that trifle? <laughs> Power must dazzle with extravagant displays of affluence. Even the comedian sitting on my throne understands this. <laughs> All the slaves will have to die of thirst before the Baron cuts his morning shower time to half an hour. For such is the will of the Holy Flame. <laughs> the main lesson from this fiasco will be learned by the cretins that let you pull this heist off. And a Bowser is a minuscule price to pay. If that makes them to start treating the task of guarding the only source of fresh water in the area with due diligence. The lesson made even more convincing by the punishment you personally delivered to the culprits in question. I must say, <laughs> thank you for acting on my behalf. <laughs> well, I must give credit where credit is due. You don't waste time. Subtlety, not your strong suit, young man. Didn't you help that witch escape from the lighthouse? 
Oh, don't shy away from taking credit. It was all part of the plan. If not for you, she would have been rescued by Soul's men. Everything must look natural after all. Yule will kill the accursed Baron. The oppressed people will rebel. They will be headed by the new leaders of the Resistance. Yule will by right take the tyrant's place. Many of his old flunkies will swear allegiance to her. At that moment, she will discover that in addition to their freedom, the slaves will have gained hunger and th- ah, ah, ah! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Oh, so you came to gloat, huh? Get bent, you bastard! I remember! I remember it now! I'm the double! I'm not the Baron! I work for Saul! I was supposed to stand in for the Baron when Gul came for him! What are you looking at? Beat it! Spare me! I'm not the Baron! Not the Baron! Not the Baron. Go through gate. Go through the prison cellar where the Munai by Lair keep the slaves. Uh, <laughs> yes. In any case, the plan is this. Gul and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them, while you get in through the underground. Let's go. We'll, we'll walk with you. Don't lag behind. I have a favor to ask. If possible, don't kill the slaves. They're not... They just obey the Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. Gru is right about the locals. Here. 
This place. They're just kids, and all have been under brainwashing for ages. So we probably should take pity on them. So a great? Well, let's do this. All right, I'll raise it and you get through. Great. No use. You nobody go. Nobody fool. We stand here. All day here. You suck. Better go hunt, find some food, make slave, more use that way. You said right, completely. Very right. Who's there? Huh? Interesting. That shit that is there! Why? Why did he die? Why? Also bad news. The gate is locked and we can't take it out. Colonel, sir, Tamir here. We have secured the tank, but encountered a, a problem with the gate. Copy that. We're going with plan B then. Act accordingly. See, the cable connects the gate and the top of the tower. How do we get there, though? Oh, it looks like a veritable fortress. Gentlemen, surely you're not seriously intending to attack our fortress. I do respect your courage, but simply throwing your lives away is such a waste. Who is in charge between you two? Come up here. We have things to discuss. Just you listen to that bastard talk. A complete about face. And we did throw a wretched into his plans big time. Point the gun down and come up. Otherwise, we'll have a pointless bloodbath on our heads. Unless you really ask for it. Mm, I don't like this, but there is no other way. If we don't get out of this desert, we we're as good as dead. Yep, that's him. Good luck, Artyom. If the deal goes south, I'll... Well, I'll do what I can. What the fuck are you saying? If I fucking hear oh, one more... There's too many of them to come. 
Did Dangerous I hear? Flames, even some Go wind. around them stinkers and just get to the next floor. Uh, the house. boss That's hates no stench. Why don't you fucking catch so it from him? Ha. You must be one just of the you train. take a fucking look at the beauty of this. Well, you just fucking pull it. Put your back in it. I'm sorry, master. A new slave was not on purpose. Look, you go up the bladder. Pass the headquarters, then pass the camp, and you'll end up right at the boss's door. Hey, what are you doing here? Who goes? Thank you. Glad you listen. Huh? Work, work all day when other slaves get to be warrior, get to fight for holy flame. What? Huh? Hey! What the hell? Get out of here! Huh? Thank yes, you for just a Huh? What? Come on! What's taking so long? What's that? Yes, you fucking look at that. The whore drank Master's water. Gotta give her a lesson. Come on, it's a ladder. It's one of those new arrivals. Come to meet the boss. What's the... Hey, pretty boy. Did you come from afar? You're the one to see the boss? Come on in. Don't waste boss time here! I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which there is no hope for something better in the future. And with no hope, you can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyul to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have you. You will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now what? Yul herself has come for you! You'll answer for everything! He walked it! From the other side! That coward! Do you think I am a fool? You didn't want a deal! Now you will all die! Starting with you, Gyo! Kill them! Artyom, get ready! We must kill these dogs! What's down there? Protect them. Direct them. Keep them. Keep them in the desert. 
Жов, Артём! You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. I was so worried. 